We out here, joined by the other towel man. You know him well. When he shows up, shit gets wild. So you know what's about to happen. I'd love for you to use your quarantine buddy or buddies. I know we got some groups of four, perhaps five out there in the nomad world doing your thing. Today, we'll, it'll be us too. However, if you are solo, we will provide some solo variations. But the purpose is definitely to connect on this one. We're going to use the towel and the wall in a couple unique ways. This is a pull day. Look at that. Incredible. He's already showing us how to use the towel in unique, wonderful ways. Today is a pull day, but it is arranged in a very high intensity interval fashion. Very high intensity. So you will get a sweat on, you better. If not, you're doing it wrong. Um, this is one of those that I look at the page and I see what's set up on the timer and I have a little bit of anxiety inside my chest because I don't know if we can get through. Well, we'll get through this. We'll definitely get through this. I just don't know how smooth it's gonna be because it's going to be quite challenging. We're gonna take on a lot today. You need your buddy. I know not everyone can have a towel man. I'm lucky, uh, but do your best, okay? We need a towel. Look at that, amazing. Dry, clean, ideally. You need, what do we need here? We're gonna start, play a little game. You should have your coffee cup with the coins from last week's action. That's optional. And let's see, a wall. You're gonna need the wall. We're gonna use it gratuitously today. Uh, all of our favorite, most brutal wall holds for the back, we will be engaging upon such a thing. If you're solo, I recommend you have a chair. We will show you how to use said chair. If you are solo, you'll only need it if you're by yourself. And furthermore, if you're looking for a pull routine that's a little more catered to the solo experience, you're gonna go back a couple days to number 34, I believe, it's a nice pull workout. Um, and all of the lovely pull workouts we've done in the past. Uh, another great option today would be to stick this in the door. You know what to do. We got the knot on this side. Put it over the door, close it towards yourself, and everything we do between the two of us, you can do between you and that lovely doorway that has a nice personality. Make sure to thank it afterwards. So pick your poison, get ready to roll. We're gonna play a little balance game to get our heads into things. Cut with your 10 coins or any little objects, really. Uh, coins work best. And let us begin said buddy pull day. All right, grab your stuff while we do our little intro game. You can join us or not, or maybe you're setting up that towel doorway action. Any cup, coins work best because we're going to be tossing them. I'll give coins to my man. Uh, we're going to stand far enough apart to have our arms spread, and then a little step on top of that. Of course, you know what the deal is. I'm on one leg. He's on one leg as well. And the goal is to pass and catch all 10 right there. If you drop one, it's your responsibility to stay on the one leg and pick it up and add it to the cup. So the game ends if you have all 10 in your cup. If you're solo, you're going to drop the 10 coins, let them chaotically and randomly scatter, and you will then pick them up one at a time, come up right, put it in the cup, shall we? Let's have some fun. Oh, not bad. Okay. Oh! So, of course, I gotta pick this one up. Put it in the bundle. Okay, not bad, not bad. I like it. Solid. How many coins are there? Jesus. More than 10. Really? I think. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we stay on the same leg. And if you're solo, you're just going to do a second trip. 
Now it's my turn. Same leg, a little bend in it, of course. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Have a little bit of fun. Feel that leg start to burn. I don't mind this. Yeah. Oh, no. Shit. I can do it later. Oh, we're starting to fail. I can Fairly. feel it. I can feel it. I'll try to hurry up. Nice, nice. Good. Good. Solid. Last one. Woo, that leg. And we do the same work on the other leg. Give your solo again. Drop it. Pick them up. All ten. Do it a second time on that same leg as we do our play game. Make sure we switch arms as well. Ideally, we do some work with that less coordinated hand. Damn, it's got to Oh, that was gone. Oh, that was really fun. I'll get it. Oh, well. What? Nice. We need some that hard. Two in a row. Okay. Oh! I think I got to do my task. Hit the quota. Hit the tab. Hit the tab. Same leg. Do it again. Oh, oh, oh. Nicely done. Uh -huh. You're in a studio like you can go hard. Yeah, yeah. Hard to see past it. Great job. Hope you had some fun solo. We will now demonstrate all the pulls and their solo variation options and the holds as well. All right. So the first move, if you got that buddy, we're sawing back and forth. It's a buddy saw. We both have underhand thumb down grips on the very edge of the top. like so. And you're imagining you're at the cable machine or even at the, at the suspension rig. We have one foot in front of the other. And today I'm going to work mostly my awkward side. So think of your, your normal. And then switch. I'm starting on one side with my arms all the way back. He's got his straightened. And with this lineup, we need the towel to be tight. That ensures we can both get full range of motion. I'm nice and low. He's going to pull like he's doing a, a regular cable pull. I'll give him some trouble and then I'll pull him back. Chest out. Roll. Get the elbows all the way straight. Let him pull as far as he can. Come up this way. Of course, the lower the better. And we'll check on the screen to make sure our forearms are in line with the towel. What we don't want to do is bicep curl. We'll do that later. We're not going to bicep curl just yet. All right. You know that rope. If you're solo, I'm going to sit in the chair. Thank you, sir. And from last week, grab both, put a foot in, pull, extend, pull, extend. All right? That's your solo option for that first one. The hold that corresponds, we're on the wall, we're making a T. The arms have to be a little bit above shoulder height. We're maybe only one of our own feet away from the baseboards. And then every part of the torso is off the wall. It's only knuckles that are connected, maybe the back of the wrist. So I'm out here in this big T. I'm looking down and walk one of my own feet away from the wall. And then I lean back. Get the hips off the wall. Pop the hips up. Now, reach a little bit above shoulder height, the same way we would do a dumbbell fly. Now push, and we just stay there. And you can kind of see from the shadows that nothing is in contact with the wall except for the backs of the hands right there. If it's too difficult, you're going to be closer to the wall. If it's not difficult enough, 
you'll walk a little bit further. But every little centimeter makes quite a bit of difference in leverage on that one. All right? Seesaw with the buddy and the T. Let's start with a light round of each. A nice light round. Let's see if we got the timer. Let's put let's put a minute down on each of the moves. And we'll do it lightly and gently before we put it into the crazy hit timer. And scrap that. 30 seconds is enough. We'll do 30. So we're starting with that seesaw, back and forth with the buddy. Or if you're solo, you're sitting in the chair, you got it on one leg. Let's start gently, slowly, with a big range of motion, with that warm-up mindset. We're not quite yet into the full situation. We haven't even demonstrated the other moves. If you're solo, you're on the chair with that leg, being light. If you got the buddy, one person starts back, the other person starts reaching. We get our stance, and we decide together how much force to put into each other. It's completely up to you the entire time. 30 seconds begins now. Take this opportunity to really move the shoulder blades around. Grease up that joint. Move it as far as it can forward. Stick the chest out on the way back. Make sure you give your partner a little bit of a struggle. Not anything crazy yet. We have plenty of rounds to get nuts with this one. There it is. Good. Working that seesaw. And there's our 30 seconds. Let's drop the towel. We're going to practice the A, sorry, the T-frame hold. Put your back against the wall, your heels against the base, and I walk one of my own feet away from the wall. Then I pop my hips up. He's got those hands in the T, a little bit above shoulder height. Stick the chest out and push with the knuckles so the knuckles are the only things touching the wall. Not the back of the head, not the back of the shoulders, not the butt. Three, two, one, begin and it's a hold. We should really stick the chest out and drive the shoulder blades back. Nice rear delts here. You have freedom to go to the fist and go to the pinky side of the fist, or stay on the backs of the hands, whatever feels right for you, whatever feels good. Breathing. This one already sucks. Of course, if it's too heavy, you'll walk a little bit closer to the wall. If you want a little more challenge, you walk further away. And relax. Good. There's a 30. Next dynamic move is a one arm row. And just like we did last week, the goal is not just to pull it back, but to pull it back and down. We want the form to slide against the love handle. I'm imagining putting my elbow like in the pocket, in the hip holster, right down there. And you might even curve the spine into the direction you're pulling to really shorten that lat. The goal again is, is this hunk of muscle right there. So don't just do our regular one arm rows, our one arm row, low, low. Smashing the elbow in into the body, the goal being this slab of meat right there, getting it all locked up. And of course the grip. If you're with the buddy, it's a one arm buddy towel row. He's got his right arm, I've got my right arm. It's a big thick bundle to work with, so it's great for grip training. Whatever side you got, right, that right leg is going to go back. It will do the same lineup. I want to finish my row. He's got his just started. We have tension in the top. He's going to pull low. You see him in the camera kind of curving his spine in that direction. We'll minimize the twisting, but maximize the curving. Good. Nice. Keep it nice and low. Now, if you're solo, you'll do the same thing in the chair. <laughs> lovely, lovely man of white. If it's in my right hand, I'm going to put the towel on my left foot. And I grab the double bundle with the right hand. I'll show you from this side. The knee bows out. The foot bows in. And the elbow goes low. So to the upper body, it's the same exact movement. To the lower body. You're initiating with your own force. You're going to have to turn it on for yourself, just like we did last week. And then, of course, we switch feet, switch hands for the other side. Let's go right hand first. So for solo, you got the left foot doing the self-initiation. Split the stance with the right foot back. The right hand has the towel. I've got mine finished. He's got his just started. 
and for 30 seconds you go back and forth, now. We decide together how heavy it's going to be. It's human nature, though. If he gives me a hard time, I kind of want to do it in return. So uh, <laughs> if you want to crank it up, just do it, and that other person should respond automatically. Now, be nice. Don't murder each other, especially if there's a little difference in strength. Um, but you don't need to speak on it to crank up the level. You just do it, guys. Now, another thing to do, if you have differences in strength level while we're doing this workout today. Um, so let's say either I'm super exhausted and fatigued, or maybe I got like a little wrist or finger injury, and Adam's able to pull way more force than I am today, or maybe we're different sizes or training levels, whatever. He's going to double the towel up and grab that. So it's a much fatter grip situation. If you're with that partner and you're equal strength, you can both do that too. It's just a fun way to double the grip intensity, essentially, for the towel. So maybe we'll do this for a few of them. You can do it for a few. I can choose to do it for a few. Obviously, it doesn't have to be done on both sides. So if he's way stronger than I am, he'll be doing that doubling. So uh, what we amount to is a, is a more even challenge for the two of us. Let's go to the other side. If you're solo, you've got your left hand on the loop, the right foot on the loop on the edge of the chair. If we're standing, we've got the left leg back with the left hand holding the towel. Begin that 30 seconds. I was thinking low with the elbow to get the lat into the game. And once we get into the workout, we'll be cranking it up on each other, producing a little more strength. One-arm low row. Very nice. Down, curving the spine. And that's at 30. The hold that corresponds to this one is the A-frame hold. We did this last week outside. It was miserable. Let me show you the A-frame hold. This is the movement I'm thinking, the ski. Exactly. Yeah. Again, all about the lats. I'm pushing down, out, and sticking my chest out and my head up. Imagine if my forearms weren't in the picture. I'll be doing a row, essentially. And the arms are straight. So we're going to go either back of the fist or flat palm. You choose. And we're going to keep ourselves held off the wall for 30 seconds. Again, I'm looking down. I'm doing one of my own feet away from the wall. I start with my butt and my back on it. Then I lift the butt to get my shoulders only in contact. Then I come down and I shrug first to set it up. Put the fist on the wall and then drop the shoulder blades and puff your chest out. So the only thing holding is the back of the fist, the wrist, the knuckles, the palm, whatever you choose to hold with. And I'm leaning back with my body weight. 30 seconds begins. Now. If it's too easy, take a half step forward. Good. And chest out always. Shoulders down. Chin up. Collarbone tall. Get out of the turbo shell. And get the hips forward so you get the weight of the lower body planking against the wall into that hole. Shoulders low, elbows low, collarbone tall. This already sucks. Good. This already sucks. Oh, yeah, for sure. And it works. Good. You'll feel a lot of tricep there as well. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's, of course, the secondary portion. What we really want to think of is this stuff. If we let the shoulders curve forward, then it just becomes uh, tricep hold. We want to make sure we get the posture achieved. Last move plus hold. We got the uh, the Ys, the buddy towel Ys, which we haven't done yet with the YouTubes. We're both going to grab the edge, the corner. This time, instead of the thumbs into each other grip, we're going to do the thumbs at ourselves grip, the bicep curling grip. You dig? Now, arms up, overhead, and way up, so we're almost out of the camera. We're going to go to split stance, and the movement is this, and we're seesawing back and forth with the rear delt 
wise. You can imagine you're on a cable machine or you have a band. And we're pulling here. Very minimal movement, but it's there nonetheless. Elbows are straight, pushing back, chest up. Pushing back, chest up. You have two options if you're solo. One is on the wall, doing the wall walk, pushing up. If you watch these videos or if you come to the gym, you're very, very familiar with this one. If you're on a chair, you can off for this option as well. The solo block, thumbs up on both. Get the tip of the toes in, and up, up like a dog race. Uh, you can also opt for the face pull that we did last week. So a couple options there. What I would do is do the face pull if I were solo. And get way high up with the fists and provide a little fighting resistance with the dead weight of the leg. Thirty seconds with your buddy. Thumbs into each other. Hands way up high. And for thirty seconds, we go back and forth with the saw. Go. And every rep with the solo stuff as well. I'm sticking the chest up. Chest up, reaching higher and higher each rep. Oh, sauce. The boss. <laughs> there we go. Yep. So he turned it on on me without even thinking about it. I turned it on in return. That's how you get a higher challenge for each other's benefit. Oh. And you know what the hold is. It's the Y on the wall. Got my back on the wall, so all of our holds are wall holds. One foot, same setup. Hips off the wall, same setup. The first one was a T. Second one was an A. Now we got the knuckles. Reach way up and push so the knuckles are the only things in contact with the wall. If you want more force, you're going to walk further away. If you want less, you'll walk closer. 30 seconds begins now. And I'm sure uh, our intent will vary throughout the workout. So maybe in the first couple, I'll get cocky and I'll walk way far away. And then I realize I got taxed too heavy, and I'll walk a little bit closer, and then maybe towards the end I'll get a little bit of vigor back in me, and I'll try again for the harder version. So feel free to vary it as we go. Just like in the gym, you would choose different weights on each round. No shame in that game. And relax. Good. If you have questions, hit me up right now, because once we're in, this baby's flying. We will have zero rest in between the moves, zero rest in between the rounds. Everything is 30 seconds. Move, hold, move, hold, move, hold until the timer runs out. It's going to be 21 minutes nonstop, 30 seconds per thing. You know what to do. First move is the two handed seesaw. Let's move it real quick. Sorry. <laughs> two handed seesaw, like so. Eater, eater. Or the solo in the chair. Pull it. The hold to correspond is the T. The next move, the one arm low row. One arm, nice and low. And then the other side. One arm, nice and low. If you're solo, you're on the chair across the body. The corresponding hold is the A. The final move is the rear delt. Thumbs up. Big Y. E -er, e -er. Solo, you can do the wall Y or the face pull on the chair. I would choose the face pull. And the final hold is the wall Y right there. We'll speak on it as we go through. We'll get more details. But once it's in, we got 21 minutes, and you better initiate with some vigor so we can get a lot out of this one. It is a shorty. Unless we got questions in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to press that warm-up button, and it's game on, baby. Starting with the regular rows. Don't forget to work on the way out. 
with your body and with yourself. So it's going to require that pushing from the leg if you're solo. You got it. Okay, no questions? It's game on. This is the 420, 21 round pull smash with towel man. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, go. Begin that saw, that buddy saw, and make them work when they pull it towards themselves. And they'll return the favor. Find that good balance uh, that you choose between slow strength and a little bit of speed. And that's going to vary every single round as you work with your partner. Oh, there it is. Nice. Good. Drop the towel. Go to the wall. We're in the T. Look down. One step in front. Lift the hips. And off the wall, we hold. I'll give you a five second warning when it's time to switch back to the towel for the one arm row. Chest out, shoulder blades back. You can always lift the toes off the ground too. That might give you a little more something. And drop it straight to that one arm row. If you're solo on the chair, you know what to do. Let's go. The lower the elbow, the better. Make your partner work. Return that favor. And in future rounds, we can always double up the towel stat to give one or the other person, or both, more of a grip challenge. Good, low, yeah, nice. With this one, we're gonna switch arms. Now, 30 seconds per arm, switch the feet, let's go. Make sure both players can get the full range of motion. You saw us just adjust the distance between us so we can do that. Low is good. Try to rip it out of each other's hands, there we go. I felt that change. He's awake now, yes. <laughs> and the hold is going to be the A. We're going to get there in three, two, one. Drop the towel, get to the wall. That low A frame hold. Start it now. Get out of the collarbone. Tall chest, tall neck. Lean back. If you need more pressure, you'll walk some more. The shoulders should be low, pushing down. Like you're pushing the wall away. And relax. Now to the Y's. Let's get it. Back and forth. Give each other some pressure. And the higher the reach, the straighter the elbows, the better. If you're solo, you're doing that face pull on the chair. Oh. The hold is going to be the Y hold. And relax. Go to that Y hold. Round one, nicely done. And then we'll be explaining less, moving a little more efficiently. Next move, back to the beginning. A regular two arm row. If you're solo, you got two hands, one foot. If you're with your buddy, you got the split stance, both hands on the towel, thumbs towards each other. Set it up. In three, two, go. We're gonna put a little more strength in it this time. Round two, nice. I feel it. And all he's gotta do is make it a little difficult for me, and I'm automatically responding. Oh. This stuff is great because it can vary on a moment's notice. There's no machine, no dumbbell, no system like this that can vary so quickly, so dynamically. So be grateful for the partner. Drop it. We got the A-frame. Sorry, the T. Make the T. One step away, push off. Knuckles on the wall or backs of the fists, whatever you prefer. And I'm feeling my delts quite a bit, rear delts. Yeah. A little bit in the traps, on the back of the neck. If you want to make it easier, just step closer to the wall. Real simple. Next one is our one-arm row. Set it up. 
one arm row. I'm going to double my bundle just for fun, see how it works. Let's go. Definitely a different experience for my forearms to double that bundle. Nice. One. E. Er. Ten seconds there. Now we're working on each other for sure. Now the action is mutual. And switch arms. Get them. Woo! Don't forget to drop that elbow low. Curve the spine to the side. If you were here yesterday, think of that long lat stretch we did where we curved away. Similar concept here. Close it down. Tighter lat contraction. Make them work. Just like that. Oh, oh, oh. return of the paper. Yard. Drop that towel. Now we have the A frame hold. You can take one step, maybe an extra half step away from the wall. Pop up. Opposite of the shrub. Get out of the shoulders. Tall neck. Skinny neck. <laughs> this would be like the Naruto run. <laughs> So if you want to prepare some endurance for your Naruto run, you'll hit this one. Relax. Now we're moving to the Ys. Or the face pull, in the case of solo work. Raise them up. Let's crank it. 25 seconds remain. Put some heat on this one. Put some heat on the feet. Oh, nice. There it is. He tags him. Bruh. <laughs> Call me the IRS. <laughs> Uncle Sam here. Don't and we're that. We're top. We got that Y. Finishing round two. Mm. Beautiful. We both got a little sweat on our brow. I can't see. In 10 seconds, we're setting up the two arm row. If you're solo, you better make that foot crank some force. Set it up. Go ahead. Two feet. Make it happen. Tax them. And then agree to put a little speed on it this round. Don't give up the force. Just add a little speed. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we get more repetitions. Now we're talking. Oh. Oh. Eek. Dads. Oui. Shasha, hiya, Ooh. four seconds. We're setting up the T hold on the wall. Drop. T hold. One foot, or maybe two, or maybe one and a half, whatever. Make that T. Spill the T, girl. This is the moment. Side to start on. We're gonna do right arm. I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna double up that towel like savages. Here we go. Well, it's a little extra speed. speed. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally different when we change the grip. The grip becomes a limiting factor. At this point, working those thumbs. Oh yeah. We're gonna be pro state thumb wrestlers. <laughs> And switch arms now. Switch feet as well. Go. Should be sweating by now. If you're not, you gotta make your leg, your solo, of course, you gotta make your leg turn on a little more pressure. If your leg is a cable machine, you're gonna go up to that cable machine and choose a higher weight. It's up to you. We can't do that for you. <laughs> uh, can't lose the thumbs. Ah, very nice. To the wall, we got the A frame. Two feet, maybe one and a half, whatever. Shrug to start, and then push the wall away. I believe we did these for 40, yeah, 45 seconds. That last doorway towel workout. These were nasty. I was dying afterwards. Okay. 
God, that turtle shell hands are sweaty. <laughs> Knee is weak. <laughs> Some about spaghettis. My mother's sweater. Oh, really? Up in the Y, nice and high. Rear delts. It's 420. <laughs> Get him. Whoa! He's him. times now in its variations during the quarantine stuff. This is killer. You should know by now. So test yourself. If you're familiar, walk further away. Drop it. Back to the beginning. That's our halfway point. We're going to seesaw now. One foot in front of the other. Let's go. Oh, he Sun. Yeah. Good call. Adam reminded me we need a little stank on the speed. It's stank away. It doesn't mean we should make it easy on each other. Just crank up the speed together. Oh. Good. T frame. One or one and a half or more. <laughs> We're using the support of the Nomad logo. Next is the one arm row, set it up now. Nothing touching the wall but the hands. Collarbone is tall in the sky. Chin is up. Shoulder blades are down and back. Locking the lats in place. You should feel a little tricep cramp too. That's all normal. Relax, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Making the Y. Rear delts. Palms up. Or the face pull. Solo. Row nice and high. Elbows high. Thumbs to the cheeks if you're so low. Should we speed on it? And the whole time we're trying to rip the towel, trying to shred it in half while moving. Ah, the Y on the wall. Palms up, step a foot away, and lift. Big chest, shoulders back. Reach as high as you can into the ceiling. Get the hips forward. 15 seconds. Next, back to the beginning with our two arm row. Uh huh. And relax. Set up that two handed row. And begin. Put the stank on it. Let's work. Put that stank on it. Put the stank on it. If we make this one low as well, we're going to feel a little more lat. Oh, yeah. Shit. 
three, two, one. To the wall, making that A frame. Oh wait, no, the T, sorry, the T. Just that, one five. T, er. Three fingers. Oh! This does suck. If it doesn't, walk further away from the wall. Next is the one arm row. Let's go down. Set it up. Oh, yeah. You got to give that gift. That power gift. It's so valuable. You can't replicate it. And like I said, nothing varies as uniquely as this manual resistance. So even the weight machine, once the gym reopens, cannot replicate what we're doing right here. Switch it, other side, begin. Take advantage of this. And I'm thinking we should invest in hella towels when the gym reopens. So we can do all this money work at some part of a distance as we kind of uh, get reacquainted with our life again. What's life? What is life anyway? Drop it. A frame. That being said, you guys know we live together. Disclaimer. We're stuck with each other. We're quarantine buddies. That's why he's here doing this today safely. Otherwise, I would not be bringing there new faces, new immune profiles into the circle. I recommend you do the same. Next is our rear delts overhead. Go. This is real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> steps away. Lift. The toe step. Five seconds. We're going to move back to the beginning. Two arm rows. And set it up. this time. Chest out, shoulder back. Let the elbows reach all the way straight. Give each other that gift that no machine can replicate. No other tool can replicate. <sighs> Ten seconds. Get ready for the T hold. Spill the T. <sighs> right away that T. One or more feet. On the wall, make it happen. Let's go. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Next are one arm rows. Pick a side to start with. Get ready to set it up. And set it up now. combination and rip the towel. The towel should always be tight. Oh. Hip into the pocket. Wait, I mean elbow into the hip pocket. And switch arms. Make it happen. Let's go. With the timer. Oh, nice out. There we go. Beautiful. 15 seconds. We're going to move to our A frame hold on the wall. Ooh, you're going to get away. 
Lost my grip. That's good. We're pushing the limits then. And relax. Any frame hold on the wall. Start it right away. Shoulders down. Get out of this girl shell. Tall neck, tall collarbone. Get damn close to the finish. We're so sweating. We're <laughs> making sweating. Three, two, seven, the delts. Overhead. Let's get it. Overhead work. Ooh. Damn close to the finish. So make it count right now. Turn on a little bit of force and or a little bit of speed, but do not let that towel go loose. Crank it up. Last real good opportunity for this one. Work those rear delts, those traps. Nice. Five seconds, make it happen. Yeah. Hold, wall wide, final hold. In the series, of course, we may have some extra tricks afterwards. Pull. We're gonna do a little trust fall afterwards. Or we're gonna prevent the trust fall, essentially. 10 more seconds of hold, then we get to take a breather. And the crazy sequence is complete. Three, two, one. Activity completed. Oh, damn. Appreciate it. Brilliant work. Very good. 21 minutes straight at the back action. 21, 21, 21. <laughs> Cheers, by the way. Thank you, sir. Nothing like that H2. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right, finishers. If you're solo, you're going to use the wall for this last one. If you got the homies, we're back. If you got friend, if you're stuck with quarantine, buddy, then you're going to pair up. And use each other's body weight. Keep on, nice. If that's how you feel, then you were doing a good job initiating with leg pressure. Not an easy thing to do. You've heard me speak that novel many weeks in a row now about the self-initiating workouts. If you're solo and you did this and you got sweat like this and you're feeling your grip and your back muscles, uh, let's give it up to the people. Not easy, not easy. You have to decide to make it harder on yourself. It's a tough decision to make and tough to maintain it and stay focused on that. All right, so we're two minutes away, two minutes of work away from the end of this. I will set up my time, one minute of it at a time. If you're solo, you got a couple options. Really, I'm not going to let you choose. If you're solo, I'm telling you exactly what to do. How about that? One minute on that phone timer. Actually, I'll do 105, so I have five seconds to press that down button and get ready to roll. If you're solo, you're on your back for the first round. Like so. And you can do one foot, pull the elbows low. This is the lat version, so not up here like we did last week, but low into the pockets and pull. And the entire time you're driving your foot out, you're trying to rip the towel between the foot pressing out and the arms pressing in. The elbows should stay touching the floor, very close to the floor. If they lift, you better either turn the effort of your arms on or turn the effort of your leg down or some combination thereof. This is what it looks like. I'm already in it right here. You should be shaking. The grip wants to fail. If you'd like and you're a little more flexible, you can get two feet in there, pull the knees out, and we're testing the tensile tolerance of the towel tenaciously. Alliteration. <laughs> For time. That's a lot of peace. <laughs> if you got the homies, we're taking turns uh, preventing the trust fall. So 
I will, uh, on the app it's called Being the Rig, Be the Rig. I'm going to grab the same grip we had for the first workout right here, but I'm going to bundle up a little, get some fatness, gather some extra towel. He's going to do the same thing. And we'll start with Adam being the dead weight. I'll be the dead weight next round. I've got my feet staggered, and my wrists are touching my ribs. Like I just finished a pull. He also has his wrist touching his ribs. And then he's walking the feet in as close as he can to me. And all that's preventing him from falling is my stance. We're both trying to get the forearms in line with the towel, and we're going to keep that for a minute. And come on out of it. Good. So, of course, the next minute, then we'll swap roles. I'll lean back and carry my body weight. If you're solo, I'll give you the second variation. I guess this is way better than using the phone over there. So let me set this watch up for the minute. And then we're going to get the crack. These are holds, remember. Isometrics. You shouldn't be moving anywhere. The only movement we should feel is the shake. Shall we get a set up? Pick a person to be the dead weight. Both people have elbows back. Both people are in the finished row position, isometric row position. Starting in five, four, three, two, and go. And Adam's going to walk his feet closer to me until we feel like that's all we can handle. And I'll let him know, too. And we're also being careful to pick a spot where there aren't many hazards behind him. If something happens, if the towel rips, if our grip slips, if one of us fails, uh, he's got a clear surface behind him to fall upon. Nothing sharp, nothing too dangerous. We're halfway through. I'm doing a, the best I can to keep my elbows back. Nice isometric row for both parties. 20 seconds left. Hang in there. If you're on the floor solo, you're pushing that towel, try to rip the towel. 15 seconds. Breathe, everybody breathes. 10 seconds. Hang in there. Three, two, one, relax. Oh. Jiminy Christmas. If you got the body, we're just trading. Now he's got the split stance, I have my feet together, I'm leaning back like I'm on a suspension rig. If you're solo, we're going to do the wall sit back lift. We did the T frame hold on the wall, we did the A frame hold on the wall, we did the Y on the wall. This time, we're bending the elbows and we're using the tricep to push off. So that kind of like above the elbow, this chunk of my arm is the only thing in contact with the wall. And I've got a little bit of a wall sit. I'll take one big step away. Now I bend my knees and I drop down kind of in this half fast wall sit. I've got my elbows here like I've just finished a bench press. And I'm lifting the chest, lifting the hips. Show the logo to the, the screen. This way. This way. Not that way. This way. Present the chest out, present the ribs out. You get a nice round weight squeeze for a minute there. Boom, right off the wall. So that the backs and arms are the only things touching. If you want easier work, you'll get up a little higher, bring the feet closer to the wall. If you want harder work, you'll get a little bit lower and walk the feet away from the wall. If you got the buddy, you know what to do. Trade rolls. This is our last minute of work. So whatever amount of effort you got in the tank, spend it right now. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. And we'll start here. How's it feel? Pretty good? So I'll bring my feet in closer. Like so. A little more. You got to trust each other for sure. And you can see we picked a spot where I don't have any crazy hazards behind me. If and when we do fail, I'll uh, have a good chance of breaking my fall safely. All right, here we go. He's calling for more. I'll walk my feet in. That's good. good. So definitely an exercise of trust. I got to give way. Let Adam call the shots here. 
and all I'm doing is hanging on for dear life with my hands. And if he lets me know it's too much, I can always walk back. But for now, we're hanging on to the next. You can see in the camera, we're keeping our forearms parallel with the towel, in line with the towel. Eight seconds left. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. We got it. Five, four, three, two. Relax. Lordy, Lordy. How about that? I'm sweating. For sure. Mm. That was solid. You feel good? Oh, yeah. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. I'm feeling way better, way more alive, more awake than I did an hour ago. Uh -huh. Of course, now, like we talked about on that uh, eight minute plank ab day, we got something we just shared that we can connect over for the rest of the today, for the rest of the week, for forever. We can always talk about the ridiculous 21 minute pull workout with the towel. And we won't forget it. We got connection, all right? And whoever's there watching right now, the few of you in the room, I know for sure uh, Kevon just did it. Um, we shared it too. So regardless of the lack of physical proximity, uh, we just did the same thing, maybe at the same time. Maybe you're watching this later after the live. Uh, regardless, we now have a shared experience. And not only do we have a shared experience, but it is a positive shared experience, something that makes us all healthier. Um, the, the sharing alone makes us healthier. There's a lot of peer-reviewed literature behind that. So whatever we share, um, even if it's a game of Monopoly or a meal or maybe something that isn't like fitness related, that alone makes us healthier, just the sharing. Um, but add to the fact that what we shared is something that makes us even healthier beyond that, something fitness related some a little bit fun with the towel to, uh, work and the coin tosses and all that. Um, so we are we are doubly benefiting each other right now by what we did. I feel great. I'm going to zoom on it. It's 420. We're going to go celebrate. Um, enjoy the day. Enjoy the life. Thanks for being here. And uh, no matter what goes on, you know who you are regardless. You could be anywhere doing anything. Whatever could happen with the world, you know, the quarantine could change. Um, I'm still me. Adam's still Adam. You're still you. Keep your values. Keep your goals. And we will always find a way to keep progressing. Signing off. Much love to you guys. Enjoy the day. Have some fun. All good. That was a Hell yeah.